Welcome to an extraordinary mini band home workout. Mini bands are perfect for smaller spaces or if you don't have dumbbells and they're great for getting lots of resistance work in because there's extra time under tensions for your muscles. Something super important for muscle building because they stay engaged the entire time. So grab your mini band. We're going to begin with squats. So I'm going to have you loop that mini band above your knees and <laughs> take a breath while you do this. This could be the hardest part of the workout getting that mini band in place. Then set your squat stance, which might be hip distance or a little wider like mine. And the beauty of using the mini band for your squats is that every time you push up and out of those squats, in order to keep your knees tracking over your middle toes, you've kind of got to push the knees apart every time you come up. Hands can do whatever whatever you're the most comfortable with. I'm praying for my glutes here. <laughs> you could have arms at your sides. You could even add dumbbells, dumbbell in each hand at your sides. But what I want you to concentrate the most on during this roughly about a minute of squatting is knees tracking over middle toes. Torso upright, chest lifted. You can use your exhale as you rise to help you uh, contract the abs a little bit harder. Heels are on the floor the entire time. I'm barefoot in this workout. You could certainly have shoes on. Do, what, do whichever one feels the best to your body. Let's get one more squat done. Again, completing about a minute of each exercise. And we've got six exercises in this workout. So next up, you can leave the mini band right where it's at and we're gonna use a chair or a couch is actually a little more comfy than a chair, but whatever you're leaning on, make sure that it's super secure. See how I've got the chair against the wall. And then what I did is I lined up my shoulder blades so that they're resting just above the edge of the chair or just above the edge of the couch. Feet are hip distance. I'm supporting my head lightly with my fingertips and I'm letting my butt drop to the ground and then squeezing it up so that my hips are at about knee height. Same idea as the squat on this one. We're working for about a minute and you've got to work to keep those knees tracking over your toes. Now you'll notice I'm touching, gently touching my, my abs right there just as a reminder that every time you lift up, I don't want your ribs to pop open or your abs to not be engaged. I want you to stay strong on that front side of your body as you work the back side of your body. All right, again, you can leave the mini band right where it's at for a plank and heel raise. Our first time through this exercise, we do have two sets of each exercise. So we're going to come down to the ground, find your plank wrists under shoulders with a slight bend in the elbows, hips in line with your spine, legs extended straight behind you, and core engaged. <laughs> and then we're going to lift one leg at a time, trying not to shift or tilt the hips. Now, uh, what I want you to do is keep that leg extended and make sure that you squeeze your butt to lift the leg. Keep that going. Again, about a minute of work here, six exercises, two sets. You can keep your eyes on the ground to keep your help keep your neck nice and long. Continuing to call for strength in that upper body. Call for strength in those abs with each squeeze. We're just alternating sides here. If you feel like in the second set you want to get a little more targeted work, you could uh, do reps on one one side at a time. So maybe ten in a a row on the left and 10 in the row, 10 in a row on the right. All right, so we're gonna get some a relief for that lower body. Take that mini band off and we're gonna do a lat pull down. So one arm is hold, you're holding on with your hand to the band, nice and secure. That arm that's up in the air staying straight, right, right now it's my right arm, is working hard. My hand is a little bit in front of my face. That's gonna make sure that I'm not pulling that band right down in front of my body, or right down in front of my face. And then I'm really squeezing my left elbow as as close to my side as I can get it. You'll notice I get a little closer as we go. This is no no joke, but this is a great way to get in some pulling work at home when we might not have access to cables and things like that. So we're going to switch sides at about the 30 second mark here. So now I've got my left arm up. That arm is working almost as hard as that right arm that's pulling. 
Squeeze that elbow down to your side. This is great, 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 great work for your lats and your rhomboids. Okay, keep that band in your hands. A little different setup. We're gonna work the legs while we work our back again. So place your feet right next to each other, holding on to either end of the band, and lower down into a squat, pressing your legs together. Narrow squat that's gonna activate those inner thighs. While we, while we hold that squat, then you're doing a little alternating bow and arrow action with the arms. So one arm extends out, it's strong and plugged in, other arm pulls back. Don't stop even though I did in the video, I just wanted to give you a little different view. And you'll see I lengthened out my spine and then I make, made sure I wasn't arching my back. But I'm in oh, about a quarter of a squat, holding one arm straight, pulling the other arm back. I'm trying to get my elbow a little bit behind my body with each pull. All right, and here we've got a mini band bicep curl. So you can keep that band in your hands. We're going to stand up nice and tall, palms up. And then you're going to keep your elbows shoulder height. Keep that band separated. Uh, so you're trying to keep your wrists in line over your elbows that's the key to this one and then bend at the elbows bring those hands towards your face um i don't know if you can tell my struggle face but i'm making it in this video <laughs> all right we're about halfway there good sometimes the smiling can alleviate some of the pain but remember the the work here is really keeping those hands apart so the band is trying to pull your hands together but you're gonna you're gonna keep them keep those wrists right as close to in line with your elbows as you can okay i'm glad that one is over <laughs> let's loop the band for a mini band march this is an abdominal challenge okay a little standing abs we're going to loop the band over the arches of your feet then separate your feet to about hip distance again hands can be wherever you're the most comfortable and we're going to do a little marching action so one foot at a time or one knee at a time is raising up. See if you can get that get that knee as high as you can. I'm able um, in this set to go to about hip height, but this is also a balance, balance challenge. Alternating sides, try not to rush it. In hindsight, I'm going a little quick here. If I slowed it down, the longer I keep that foot lifted, the harder it is. So you've got that stabilizing leg working for you. Um, your abs are working for you. And the whole time I want you to keep your best posture while you do this. So we've got a handful of seconds here left, a couple reps left on each side. Best posture, maintain it, pull those shoulder blades down and back, ears in line over your shoulder, and we get to do it all again. Are you ready? I'm ready. We've got mini band squats on first. Loop that mini band, pause the video if you need to to get that mini band up over your knees. Second time through these six exercises, starting with the glutes, really creating some heat in our body. Um, so all of these exercises you could do with no equipment or you could tra trade out uh, for dumbbells if you prefer. It's a great little total body circuit. Okay, let's come back to our focus on the squats. Push those heels into the ground. See if you can feel, even though you might be so focused on, on the quads and separating the knees that you forgot about your butt, but I'm here to remind you about your butt. So press those heels into the ground every time you rise to activate those glutes. You got this. Pushing through your heels to stand back up to the starting position. Even squeeze your butt a little extra at the top. You got this. It's amazing how much um, extra glute work is created just by adding that mini band. Great tool you can take with you for travel workouts. Great tool to incorporate into your weekly home workouts. All right, let's find that chair or couch. Get yourself situated again for your hip hip thrust. So band stays in the same spot. Feet are about hip distance. And again, shoulder blades, bottom of the shoulder blades, just right on that edge of whatever you're leaning against. Hips lower down. Squeeze the butt to raise the hips up to about knee height. Keep your chin tucked. We don't want excessive work in that um, upper, upper part of the spine or the neck. So notice I'm just keeping my, keeping my chin tucked slightly towards my, 
towards my chest. Abs engaged. We don't want those ribs flaring open at the top. And if you find you're not feeling much, it can always be helpful to pause at the top like I'm doing here. Test it out. See how many seconds it takes for you to feel that glute fire. <laughs> All right, leave the mini band where it's at, at. Let's transition to the floor for our plank and heel raise. Set your plank. Do that first before we add in any of that movement. So again, wrists under shoulders, hips in line with your spine, leg extend, legs extended straight. Squeeze at one side, keeping your core engaged to lift the heel. Really, you're, you're lifting by squeezing the, the booty. Alternate sides. Breath is moving. Arms are strong. It's all about that squeeze factor, booty squeeze factor. <laughs> On a, a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your booty squeeze factor? I hope you're at a 10 each time you lift the leg. Draw that belly button in. Nice neutral neck, eyes on the ground. Almost there. All right, you made it. You can you can take that mini band off. Sweet relief. <laughs> and we're going to do our mini band lat pull down a second time. So, let's Raise our, our, our left arm up to the sky, strong through that left shoulder, plugged in left shoulder. Um, or it looks like I switched sides, so you can start on either side. Just make sure that arm that's up in the air and straight, that that shoulder is plugged in, nice and stable. And then you're pulling with the other, pulling with the other side. I had to do a little shoulder readjustment there. If you ever need to do that, that's just fine. But if you're, if you're working, just keep working. The arm that's pulling down, you're doing whatever you can to get that elbow as close to your side as you can. Slight bend in those knees, good posture. All right, here's the switch, switching sides. Other arm straight up in the air and strong. Hug that elbow down to your side. Think about creating that strong back with every pull. Just like the hip thrust, you could, if you're not feeling much in your back, pause for a second or two at that end range of motion. You could use that tip on this next one too. Mini band, narrow squat, bow and arrow. So set your stance, feet right next to each other, legs pressing together, lower down, quarter squat, core engaged, bow and arrow arms. Super common on this one for the, the shoulders to start to shrug up towards your ear. So relax them down. With each pull, let that elbow come behind your body. Visualize your, your shoulder blades sort of wrapping around the backside of your rib and in towards your spine. You're trying to keep it down and away from the ears. Good. Arm that's extended is strong and stable. Shoulder plugged. Getting some great pulling work in here. All right, let's do those bicep curls again. I hope you're more excited than I am. <laughs> These ones are tough. <laughs> so great one. If you don't like this with the mini band, a light set of weights, you could do the exact same action. Um, just make sure they're light. If you did a regular bicep curl with the elbows at your sides, you could go heavier on your weights. But when we have our arms raised like this, elbows, shoulder height, a little lighter dumbbell will be great. So keep that band separated, even if you have to fight for it like I am here. Arms go from straight, bend at the elbows, bring those hands towards your face. Keep that band as, as separated as possible, as taut, as much tension as, as you can. Even though it's listed as a bicep curl, this is intense shoulder work as well. And that was your last one. All right, let's finish this workout. We got this mini band march. Loop that mini band around the arches of your feet and then stand up. On this exercise, you'll keep your feet flexed. Eyes focused on a, a focal point could really be helpful since this is a super balanced challenge. And then you're marching it out. If you've got a newer mini band, a really tight mini band, um, and this is really hard, I would just suggest starting with a, a smaller lift. So you don't have to get that knee all the way up to hip height. It could be a smaller movement. 
Um, one more option is if you don't like this one standing, too much balance, um, you could do the exact same movement but laying on the floor. Um, my recommendation for that is to not let the heels touch the floor, but that's a great super targeted abdominal workout where you don't have to worry about balance. Great, but if you've got some stretch in that mini band, try to get that knee up as high as you can, torso tall, and you made it. Whoop that mini band off, throw it across the room, <laughs> put it somewhere safe for later for your next mini band workout. And I would love to hear what you think about this in the comments below. I'll see you at our next workout. Thank you so much.